okay, I do want to talk about your run streak because that to me is like, uh, I didn't realize how hard that is. <laughs> like <laughs> uh, almost three years. Did you have a run streak before this three year run streak and then break it and then have to start over? Is this, did you decide and then never look back? One shot. Yeah. One yeah. shot. So again, it comes from my recovery. I don't get days off. Yeah. I can't start my recovery and go two years in and then have a drink and or take a weekend and then get drunk and then start it over again because it's it's really about me losing everything again so there's there's a lot at stake for me taking a day off so when I hashtag no days off I'm really talking about my recovery but I'm carrying that same method over into my run streak and I'm asking myself, well, what, what excuse do I have not to run? Like, am I tired? Am I going to be late? Like, like, what is it? And I can never find a valid reason not to spend 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what a 5k. And that's, that's my minimum is 3.1 miles for the run streak. Um, and it is hard. I, I will go on record and say, I hate running. I do not like running. Who gets surprised when I say that to them? Because especially the boxing community, they're like, oh, I wish I were like you and I loved running. I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't love running. Don't get it twisted. I just do no. it. Don't think that, you know? Yeah. I mean, man. You just got to do it. Yeah. No, no one believes me and no one listens to me when I yep. say I hate running, but I got to go for a run. Like, <laughs> uh, I, love, I love the way it makes me feel. Um, it was a huge part of my transformation of me uh, burning calories, losing weight. Um, I love food. So it, <laughs> it allows me to eat, eat whatever I want. And, you know, I still stay disciplined for the most part. And my wife cooks some amazing meals. Um, now it's more me thinking about long term, uh, my heart and, you know, my, my organs, what it's going to do to me when I'm 70. Um, as far as my diet um, but in the beginning I mean the running was 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 all I had was like if I could sweat I felt like I was working and I hated it I hated it and when I was actually starting so starting the run streak um, my mother passed away of cancer in 2016 and um, 2017 I was looking for something I wanted to run a marathon right and I'm like all right I'm gonna run this marathon and I'm gonna run it as fast as I can and I'm just gonna PR I'm just gonna kill it right and I just needed something I need a victory because I knew that I was gonna feel like crap on the one year anniversary and I'm just searching and I, and I found a race um, and I signed up for this marathon Which and was it? Uh, Ventura Ventura Marathon Ventura. and okay. yeah uh, out by Southern California yeah no I did one in Ventura it was mountains to beach but I didn't I yeah I that I yeah it's it's a different one I was probably the same course yeah because um, the mountains to beach I was like that would be cool is it a downhill mm -hmm. um yeah so I've, I've seen a lot of posts about that and that one I was on my radar but uh, this one was not, it was just in the Ventura area and it was around the time that I needed it. Mm -hmm. So backing up to 2017, February, I did Taji and Taji 100, run 100 miles in um, the month of February in the shortest month, right? So I didn't believe that I can do it. Um, I tried it out in January and I got close and I think I might've hit it like a day after. Um, but February, I killed it. Yeah. February, I ran 300 miles because I ran every single day and sometimes twice a day. And somewhere in the middle of February, just cause I got this like OCD with like, I need to get it. I need to get it. Yeah. And I just got, obsessed with the number, you know, like, okay, I'm at 99, I need to get to 100. And so 
somewhere in the middle of February, I ran a 130 half marathon on the track. And that's still today my like PR, right? I probably can beat it, but I don't know if I'll ever have the nerve to get up to try to do that. <laughs> but that I was on fire, but I felt like I was dying, you know, on like day 18 of running every day, sometimes twice a day. So here we are, fast forward, August is, you know, right around August. And I'm looking back like, when did I feel my best running? When did I feel my most confident? When did I know my body? During Taji, when I was running every single day, right? When I took days off, I didn't know what my knees were gonna give me. I didn't know what my breath and I didn't know my mind. Like I didn't, I was all over the place. So it was just like flip a coin. Okay, good run, yeah. bad run. And during Taji, I was, I was nailing it. Like I woke up and I knew I'm like, I'm going to run five miles at eight minutes each mile. And the last mile I'm going to run at six minutes, you know, and I'm tired, but I knew I had it in me or today I'm running 10 minute miles, you know? So yeah. I knew. And, and the fact that I could to, to, to say today, I'm doing a 10 minute mile when you did a six the day before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so knowing that I could PR running 13 miles in the middle of that run streak for the month. So I guess you can kind of, I wasn't trying to do a streak. I was just trying to finish out the month. And once I got to like 150, I was like, I need to get to 200. And once I got to like 220, then I'm calculating, okay, I need 80 more miles. I got four more days. So 80 divided by four. And, uh, you know, I'm like, I, I couldn't stop doing the math. I couldn't yeah. stop doing the math of I need to run 6.7 miles every day for the last three days. So I'd wake up and I'd run 3.7. And then I wouldn't just run the three at night. I tried to get extra credit. You know, because that was my mentality was like, always get extra, always go through the line. So then I'd run five miles and I feel really good. You know, so it looking back, I, I knew that that month was when I felt my best. So I went for it. I'm like, you know what? Going into this marathon, which is 90 days out, I'm going to run every day. I'm going to run every day for 90 days just so that I know my body and I'm going to kill this marathon. Like, I'm. I got it. Three, and, 300 miles yeah. in February, right? 300. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's more than marathon. <laughs> that's marathon. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually. Hey, but I, I was all over the place with that 300. I mean, and I probably should have spent more time with my wife and kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, 